Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From today on, we will be creating a series of jewelry designs. So in today's video, we will be creating a ring, a very unique ring. So before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification and kindly support the channel by sharing the videos as well. Now let's get straight into the video. Switch on the origin. Now go to create sketch, select the front plane and front orient it. Now draw a circle of outer radius 20 mm, it will be very small and inner radius 18 mm. So if you see it depends upon uh, different people so accordingly you can keep the diameter. So I am just for my convenience I am keeping 18 mm so that is 1.8 cm as my inner diameter. Okay. Now I have to draw a line like this okay now let's give the dimensions now go to dimensions click this line and this origin axis give 60 degree press enter now go to offset option click this line and give offset two times so one mm and press enter again give offset click this line give negative one so it will be offset to the other side okay and press enter right now go to the trim option here trim off this line this line and this line also trim off this line this line and this line now if trim option is not available here go to modify and you can avoid that option here trim option click the three dots and you trim the tool bar it will automatically appear here. okay now now you also need to trim off this particular line just this particular line and this one and this one and this one and that's it we are ready to go now i am doing this because i am creating i told i am creating a unique design so let's keep it that way if you have any design in your mind you can draw the sketch accordingly so i am just drawing the cross section of the ring that's it okay. now go to the fillet command give the fillet this line and this one give 0 0.3 that is enough and this one and this one again same way this one and this one and this one and this one click it and 0 0.3 is fixed give finish sketch right now tilt it go to your extrude option click this geometry and also you have to click this geometry as well then only you will select complete now okay now all the cross section has been selected go to symmetric symmetric and the whole length in the whole length and the distance is 3 mm okay and press n yes that's it now hide the origin now let's draw some projections and storms so for that go to your uh, construct option go to tangent plane so i'm going to draw the projection here so you just click after you select the construct Tangent plane, click this particular surface. So a new plane has been created. Tangent to this particular surface. Give OK. Now select this plane and give create sketch and top orient it. Now you got something like this, right? Now inside this, we are going to draw a projection. So I am planning to uh, keep a gemstone there. So we will see it. Now first, just draw a rectangle. So randomly you can draw a rectangle, that doesn't matter. So you can draw a rectangle. Okay. Now first give the dimensions. So you can give the total width as 1.5. It is already given 1.5. And you can give this as also 1.5. The length as also 1.5. That is good. Now let's draw some more. Okay. You can draw lines like this okay in a similar way draw lines like this here also okay now give the dimension as say this one as 0 0.5 but this particular distance as 0 0.75 press enter similar way here also I think it has been automatically arranged here so you can see here if I select these two lines it is automatically 0 0.5 
so see you cannot add that because it is already been assigned so the ok now we have to move the entire sketch into the width of this particular body ok so for that go to modify and give move bar copy now it will ask for selection so you just select the entire drawing and set the pivot as this particular point and give set pivot done and just zoom in and just press this one and drag it down ok and zoom in and make sure this particular sketch has to be inside this particular body ok so it should be within this range this grey color background that is the body actually ok now give ok right and give finish sketch now let's tilt it give extrude option Select this geometry, this geometry and this geometry, give the distance as 0.5 and press enter. Now the next part is we have to merge these two bodies as a single body. So to do that we have to fix this properly aligned with this one. Okay, So there is no particular uh, dimensions for that. So you will use the move command to select this body and set pivot as this particular center point and set pivot done. Top orient it and move it accordingly and wherever you feel okay this particular gemstone will fit properly you can accordingly adjust the dimension now front orient it tilt it a little bit move it closer no the angle is not proper so 5 and 0 I am giving 2 and again I am going to drop it down a little so I am giving minus 20 ok downwards minus 20 and again I am going to top orient it so this this particular dimension will change depending upon how you are going to position your gemstone ok now this seems fine to me so I am going to give ok right now I am going to create one more of the same gemstone so I am going to again click move command select this body set pivot as this center point I will give create a copy and give set pivot done ok then top orient it if you do that it will allow you to create one more copy of the same kind ok now I will just drag it down a little bit ok now tilt it front orient it I have to check the angle Again, I'll drop it down. No. So again, the angle. I'll give two. Sorry, negative two. Or negative one. Yeah. I'll give negative ten down. Okay. And I'll just drag it a little bit more towards this particular side. Okay. So I feel this will look good. I'm going to give okay right now let's zoom in use shell option select this particular surface this one give the shell thickness as 0 0.15 and press enter okay now go to your combine option under your modifier you can find the combine option and select the target body as the ring and the tool body as these two bodies and give ok right now go to your extrude select the surface just drag it 0 0.6 very good give ok and go to extrude again click this surface drag it 0 0.6 give ok yeah that's it now now you have to do chamfering ok go to your chamfer option select this edge press ctrl and keep selecting all these edges do not release your control option press ctrl and select all these particular edges so you can see 12 edges have been selected your distance as 0 0.15 so you can see this particular option right and give ok now the next part is well before that we have to make sure these two gemstones has to be created as a different body so 
go to your extrude uh, option right click it give edit feature instead of join operation give new body operation and press ok now you can see a new body has been created the same will go with this one also right click the second extrude option edit feature instead of join give new body and give ok now you can see three different bodies has been created now let's give fillet go to fillet select this particular surface completely and give 0 0.1 no that is too much so 0 0.05 yeah that will go now press your control and select this second surface and the same 0 0.5 0 0.5 will be automatically assigned to that okay right and give ok now let's give fillet one more time select this particular surface press control select all these edges till here give 0 0.05 and let's see how this goes yes that is good now press control select this surface this one tilt it select this one tilt it press control and select this one yeah 0 0.5 has been assigned to all the edges and give ok why yeah that's it now let's try this one more time 0 0.05 let's see yeah, it is assigned to that edge also and press control and select this edge also 0 0.05 has been assigned everywhere okay yeah that's it now let's apply the materials now right click the body give appearance let's wait for the appearance box to pop up and we have to give gold to all these materials and yeah so go to your metal gold drag and drop it here yeah and again go to your miscellaneous click it go to your gemstone select the blue gemstone and red gemstone drag and drop it here now just drag the gold place it here drag the red drop it to the first gemstone and drag the blue and drop it on the second gemstone and give and right now go to your render so i have already pre-assigned environment for this to work perfectly or in fact to see the most quality rendering okay to obtain the most quality rendering so you have to go to your uh, setups and scene settings go to your solid color change it to environment and there's an existing environment in your library go to your environment library and select grid light okay there is something called grid light yes double click it so grid light will be selected now go to your settings your focal length has to be changed to 200 and set your position to 116.2 let's say it will be 116 116.2 and press enter okay and you can set it here press this position button one more time and give close you just zoom it in right now give in canvas render now let's wait for some time to get it rendered so i'll show you the final image of how this exactly looks let's wait for it to start rendering okay now i'll show you the final render after it gets completely rendered so this is the final rendered quality image of the model try it out and let me know about your comments once again subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and press the bell icon for the notification and please support the channel by sharing the videos as well thank you